top top now for Hedrick. Hedrick now is a shot. points, but certainly when it's a, a difficult trip up to Alaska with the time change to travel. So I was real proud of the team's efforts and then be able to kind of gut through a, a long weekend on the road. Uh, special teams were huge. Uh, we did a great job on the power play. Uh, two shorthanded goals was also spectacular. I thought our penalty killers did an awesome job. Our penalty kill has been very good lately. Uh, we need to continue that. Michigan Tech's got one of the best power plays in the conference in the nation, so our penalty killers are going to have to be uh, on spot all weekend long. Uh, additionally, we want to play a little bit more five-on-five five hockey. We've been in too many special teams battle lately, so we like our team best when we play five-on-five, five, but our special teams got the job done. I, mean, I think we've been close. We've been in a lot of close games lately, and it's, it's nice to finally get a couple back-to-back wins on the weekend, but uh, we started out the weekend actually giving up the first goal and I thought it showed a lot of character in the guys in the locker room, battling back and getting that win and then coming back Saturday night knowing that they're going to come out even harder. So we got we to gotta push up our game on Saturday and we did and we're all pretty happy about that. It's a huge part of college hockey and our, our defense has been great lately. I mean, haven't given up many goals in the past few games, so that's been huge. Uh, PK has been unbelievable lately, which is, is really big because, I mean, not that we can take a lot of penalties, but it's good to know that when we do take a penalty, we'll be fine. And uh, it's nice to see our power plays converting quite a bit, giving us some, some offense. Well, the penalty killers, I thought after a slow start to the season, I was a little concerned early on. I didn't think we were uh, overly sharp in our penalty kill the first few weeks, and uh, it's been a total uh, change to our structure and system with Doug Hollowa coming in. Uh, so Doug's done a really good job after those few weeks, and I think it was just more rep and getting times on it. So our guys understand the concepts now of what we're trying to do, and, and Doug's done a really good job with those guys. The players on the ice have uh, really done an excellent job as well. And it also took us a little bit of time to figure out uh, you know, who, our, who our pairings were to kill and uh, we, we've kind of identified that over the last few weeks and have been very strong that way in the penalty kill. So, um, but it's a big challenge this weekend with Michigan Tech's power play. So that was very good. We liked that. Uh, we've probably had an, um, the opportunity to score a lot more shorthanded goals than we've had. We've, we've had a lot of breakaways. We've had a lot of odd man rushes. Uh, we try to be aggressive and um, you know take away time and space, and it leads to some offensive opportunities. We certainly were able to cash in this weekend on it, but uh, you know that's something we'd like to, to be very good at scoring shorthanded goals and really switching some momentum in the game so we're able to do that this weekend uh, in terms of the power play we, we thought there were some areas against uh, Fairbanks that we could take advantage of in the way they kill on their sheet and uh, so we tried to put those things in play and a real credit to, again to our players to be able to, being able to go out and execute uh, the adjustments we made uh, to try to attack their their penalty kill in zone so we thought we did a really good job that way uh, Rich Mitro uh, did a very good job with his unit to, to score some big power play goals and uh, you know it was obviously a huge impact on the weekend. I mean, it's a pretty nice honor for what, whatever it is, Rookie of the Week or Player of the Week or Defensive Player of the Week. Any recognition is always good for yourself and the organization, knowing that we're going in the right path and the path we want to go. But it's also not just a individual, I think, award. I think it, it shows how our team's been playing lately and how, uh, how successful we have been in the past uh, seven or eight games. Well, Gage, you know, it's been tough because he's had a couple injuries, uh, a couple different upper body inju injuries that have cost him a couple games and, and really, you know, probably kept him out of a better rhythm. Uh, but he's a very good player for us. He's a very good player overall. Uh, he, he's got tremendous speed. He, he's very smart. He competes. He's got the ability to either set up uh, plays or to score. So he's a very well-rounded player. He plays on a power play. He plays on a penalty kill. He plays in our top six. Um, so, uh, again, I think with uh, without the injuries, he's probably a little bit further along than he is right now but it was a great weekend for him I think there's a lot more of that to him and his game and we'll see more of that from Gage through the stretch run hopefully he can stay healthy for us uh, Nick Kossoff you know a lot of credit to Nick uh, Saturday morning uh, we decided to go back with Gordy as a staff because Gordy's played so well in that and he did Friday night and then during warm-ups Gordy fell ill and so Nick with about eight minutes of warning uh, found out he was going to start that night after a, you know a frustrating morning because Nick uh, he's a very 
fiery kid and he wanted to play. He was upset. So uh, he was able to, to turn the switch and go in and give us a great performance. Uh, you know, two of his starts, he's had shutouts, and we think he's very capable. He's done a really good job for us. He's a Division One goaltender, and there's there's a lot of uh, a very bright future for Nick. And uh, you know, obviously with that performance, he's earned more opportunities. Uh, I kind of just try to prepare the same for every game, so it was just like every other game I've started. So that that was pretty normal. And as far as a sweep, that was huge. Four points for the guys. Uh, as far as a team, I think we just got to keep doing what we're doing. Obviously, it's been working for us. We've picked up quite a few points in our last few games, so. Uh, we just got to keep doing that, keep playing our game. And for me, it's just the same thing, preparing the same way as, as far as every single game. Well, we've got to be great defensively. They, they lead the conference. We're right up near the top in, in team offense. Uh, their power play is one of the best in the country. And so it's a big challenge that way. We've got to continue to be great defensively, uh, You know, get the goaltending we've got over the last month and a half between both Gordy and Nick. Uh, that'll be the start of it. Uh, but we, we like our team. We like the direction we're headed in. Uh, I think we're a much better team now than we were a month and a half or two months ago. And, and we're starting to see that. Uh, I, I think that you know one of the keys is playing them five on five. Uh, we want to stay out of the penalty box and we got to do a better job of that overall but uh, it'll be a, a huge test at home this weekend we're looking forward to be back at home we've had great crowds great support and uh, you know we're really excited to be back home and show our fans the growth our team has had